Welcome to Cebu Expat by Matt Wilkie, discussing expat life in the Philippines. The long nose tax in the Philippines. This is where extra taxes are added on top. Well, it's not really a tax, it's just people charge you more for everything. Um, you don't have to accept it. But I will say, a lot of the time, they do it with Filipinos anyway. Um, I know in Cebu, uh, my wife's relatives have come down from Manila before, uh, and we're getting some souvenirs near the uh, Basilica. Um, because they have a hint of the accent from Manila, um, they all automatically increase the price. Um, now bear in mind they're from Cebu, it's just that they, they, they work and live up in Manila which sort of makes it quite amusing because it's work, you know, because obviously this Cebu is their home um, island, making Manila being their hometown. But, so be aware, they do it to each other. Um, a lot of it is just, they, they charge people what they think they should charge. Um, it's a bit frustrating, but the other side of this being, if they know somebody hasn't got a lot of money, they will actually come down, they'll do it the other way around. <laughs> Um, so I sort of give and take. If it, if it's somebody really taking the mick, like taxi drivers try to, um, I won't do it. Uh, taxi drivers often want to go off the meter because then it's not taxed, it's not billed, and it's just illegal. Um, I don't agree with it. Philippines does have corruption issues in its whole government system. But at the same time, if I start switching taxis off, I'm part and parcel of the problem. So I disagree with it. Everyone should pay their taxes um, to help solve some of the issues. Um, corruption on where the money goes, etc., is down to the government. And I'm not assisting, um, assisting them in their theft. But I'm not also being part and parcel of it by encouraging um, not paying tax at all. So be aware the long nose tax is something they'll try. You'll get it as soon as you walk out of the airport. You'll get somebody trying to help you into a car. As soon as they do that, there's an extra fee that they've already charged for doing it. You get people trying to porter your luggage. They want to charge you for that. Um, you'll get the taxi driver trying to inflate the price and it just goes on and on and on but if you just go mahal mahal you know it's like uh, mahal is expensive you'll see it's used in two terms um, mahal means expensive but it also means love <laughs> so be careful where you use it in what form um, but the the fact is you just go mahal and walk away um, it works for many things uh, had it with an apartment rental because I always know the price is going to be inflated because you I'm white as simple as that but when you go okay and then just walk away don't say nothing the next thing is they ask you for your mobile phone number because they want to text back with a lower price because they know you they haven't got you to go oh I'm a crazy foreigner I'll pay whatever you're offering because I believe you um, so be aware white nose tax goes on everywhere the funniest one was a guy with a, he, he wanted this certain vehicle, I think it was a Delcia, it's like a, it's like a minibus type van thing, but it's quite high up, four wheel drive, because he wanted something that's capable of getting through some of the flood water up where they live. Um, the argument being is this other guy took this guy, because um, he found the vehicle, took this guy, then asked for 10,000 pesos for finding the vehicle. <laughs> so. Rather than trying to take it off the seller, he's trying to take it off the guy he's took there and say, well, it's 100,000, but you, knew, you owe me 10,000 for bringing you here. And it's like, that's not how it works. <laughs> but that's the Philippines. Be aware, some of the stuff may not seem to make any sense. And some of the guys locally, they think like this. This is how they think. Um, and it doesn't mean all Filipinos agree with it because you talk... Um, about that story about the van to most Filipinos they'll just laugh they find it funny because the fact is they can't believe even the guy had the uh, uh, audacity to try and extort 10,000 pesos for just taking you up the road um, but hey welcome to the Philippines <laughs>